Hi, it's Chester Tugwell here. Bit of a different video from me, normally doing Excel or something like that, but here I'm in Affinity Photo. And the reason I'm using Affinity Photo is because I have a problem with this photograph that I took uh, on holiday in the Lake District in England, and it's at uh, Coniston Water and beautiful sunset. This was literally the colors. It was an amazing sunset, but what it's given me is a problem with uh, these color fringing elements here, which you can call chromatic aberration, if you like. Um, so it, I don't know why it's so bad on this photo. I've never come across such a bad case of it. It was, I am using a cheap lens, a kit lens here, so maybe that's, that's why it is. And also you've got a lot of contrast here. But anyway, uh, what I did do and what I normally do when I get anything like this is I try and deal with the problem in RAW. I use uh, DxO Photo Lab, uh, but it didn't touch it, unfortunately. Um, so I bought the photograph into Affinity Photo uh, just to see if I could get rid of it in this application. And in fact, I can really well, in fact. There's a few kind of options that I went through to get to my final results. So I want to take you through those. Initially, I'm not going to use adjustment layers. You'll see why later on. Um, I'm just going to make a copy of my image and apply the changes here in case I want to get rid of them. I've got CA for chromatic aberration. And the first place I went to was just to go up to here to filters, colors, and there is an option here for chromatic aberration. And I kind of found that it did do something to the image when I used this option. Um, hopefully you can see it there. It did get rid of some of it, but not really to the standard that I was kind of looking for. So that might be your like first pass to try and get rid of some of the color there, or it might just deal with it. I think this is a pretty extreme case. So, then I went back to filters, colors, and I found that defringe was actually a good option. Now, what this does is if you move away from the dialog box, it gives you this little color picker. So I can pick a color and then it kind of chooses it here and you can change your tolerance for the color. But the thing that really makes a difference is this slider here, edge brightness threshold. If I just take that down, you can see it gets rid of it. It does get rid of the color. I've still got that kind of fringe there. So it doesn't get rid of that, but it's not that glaring blue color. So if I click on apply, what I can also see is the complementary color over here. So I've got to go back to here, colors, uh, defringe, and I can pick that color as well. You can see it picks up the fringe color there and I can take that down and that gets rid of that color as well. So I might need to play around with this, but that looks to be the, the kind of best it's going to give me in this situation. Okay, now if I zoom out, you can see it, you know, visually that is a lot better. Um, you're not seeing that horrible fringe on the posts. Now, I'll just hide that layer. So there is another option and you know, I like to use adjustment layers because they're no, non-destructive and uh, all that kind of thing. So I did try it using an adjustment layer. It's actually called a new live filter layer. And if I go to colors, there we are, there's defringe now. So why didn't I use this? Well, this is the problem I found. Look, if I try and select a color, it doesn't pick it. I don't know, am I using it wrong? Maybe someone can tell me if I'm using it wrong, but uh, it kind of picks a color, but not the color that I'm pointing at. So if I do this, it's not really making any difference. I mean, I can manually choose the color and that kind of does it, but I don't really understand why you can't pick the color. So because of that, I, I tended to well, I've only done it once, but I tended to just do it in a copy of the background just so I can pick that exact color that I want to uh, get rid of the fringe color from. 
Okay, so that is all I'm gonna cover on this particular video. I'm probably gonna do some more on Affinity Photo. It's something that I am getting to grips with. I've used a bit of Photoshop before, but this is not on a subscription model, so it's quite a good option if you're not a professional photographer. But please subscribe if you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you next video.